the final play that was drawn up on that inbounds pass and then what happened during it? Um, coach drew up a play. We tried to get Gallo open. We sent two to Gallo. Um, no one else was open besides Steve for a split second. Russ, on, on the very last inbounds play, it looked like you jumped out on Gallo to help force that turnover. What were you expecting on that play? And is that something that Billy had run when you had played for him? Uh, yeah, I kind of know. I kind of know a little bit. I know a little bit. Guarded by P.J. Tucker. And they get it blown up. Westbrook, all the depot, singular to inbound. Grant and Adams on the floor for the Thunder. Thunder is out of timeouts. Adams gives it back to Russ. Deep shot. Get it! Uh, and I just wanted to mix it up because I knew it was out of timeouts. And I knew where the ball was going. So I just tried to muck it up. There wasn't enough time to be able to make one more catch. I didn't know that. That's, that's on me. You know what I mean? We was pushing the pace really good, and then we just got stagnant. Uh, I think the most frustrating part is uh, that last play, I put Shea in a tough situation. Houston got its hands on it. Dort for three, blocked by Harden. I got to find a way to get us a better shot. Um, we have been playing with pace, sort of uh, seeking out Robert Covington and I don't know, it's a tough one. We had our chances. Huge, I've been locked in, you know, obviously just all year long, <clears throat> trying to be better on that side of the ball. And uh, just tonight was a, was a huge emphasis on it. And so, you know, came up with the big block to, to, to win the game. And offensively, uh, had a rough shooting night, you know, turned the ball over a, a little bit too much, but tried to find other ways to impact the game and, uh, you know, came up with a huge block to end the game. And I just kept my confidence, even though I had a couple bad nights you know, I stepped up and, and shot it with confidence. And, you know, the last one, he just, I didn't think he was that close, but he was. And he, you know, you know he got it. You know, it felt, it felt good. And I was confident enough to take that shot. His butt off. I, even since college, you know, when I would go back to Arizona State, he would work his butt off and it's showing. You know, you know, obviously uh, he played extremely well tonight on the offensive end. He made a lot of shots. Um, but he just played play his butt off. You know, he, he doesn't care about anything but playing hard. And uh, as a young guy coming into this league, that's all you can ask for. You know, learning how to play and learning, you know, defensive schemes and offensive schemes and the total package of being an NBA player is going to come. But he has the right mindset of just playing hard and playing balls to the wall and don't care what anybody thinks. And, uh, you know, he's going to have a great career. Yeah, it, was, it was tough, you know, going undrafted. And this team just gave me a lot of confidence. And, you know, just from the vets, Chris, Dennis, Gallo, Steve-O, Coach Billy, Sam, you know, they just they just gave me a lot of confidence. And, you know, they really trusted me. And, you know, it's, it's a blessing just to be here. You know, me coming from Montreal and being here with all these guys. And the way we play, we didn't add up a way, but it was big. It was, it was big. It's a hell of a season I had. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I just kept my confidence up. I mean, my teammates, my coach, I didn't listen to the outside stuff. My teammates, my coach really believed, and this really helped. Every time Dennis and Chris was telling me to shoot the ball, shoot the ball, you know, Dennis is one of the guys who really pushes me from the beginning. I remember the first game, uh, you know, I, was, I played against Minnesota. I remember at one time uh, we, uh, we was playing Minnesota, and then he told me to go guard uh, Jeff T. And he just, like, the way he was talking to me, and he told me, like, I can do that, and just that just really helped for the, rest, for the, for the whole season. Lou is special. Uh, they were helping off, and we all just kept making the right plays, and we knew that we had our confidence in him. So uh, we expected that from Lou, and Lou going to be in this league for a long time. We, we, we fought hard all year. Um, obviously, a lot of people doubted us, but we didn't doubt ourselves. Uh, we didn't give a damn about anybody's predictions going into any series. In any game, we, we expected to win, <laughs> right? And that's the way we played all season long. Every game, we expected to win. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough one. They deserve to win. And they did everything they were supposed to do. If it happened again, we do the same thing. So don't. It was against James Harden. 
and Gallinari misses it. I had the utmost confidence in Gallo, so if we had it over again, he'd shoot it again. Delay a game? Mm -hmm. uh, it's crazy. This has been going on in the bubble, like the replays. They show the replays sometimes so that obviously it's an advantage if you get to see the replay and then you challenge. So, like myself and I, I dropped down to tie my shoe up to hopefully see if we see the replay. Scott Foster walked over to me and told me, Chris, you ain't got to do that. I got him sweeping up the floor. Okay, cool. So I start tying my shoe back up, and he still called the leg game. That shit don't make no sense. But I don't know. That's crazy. He just, I don't know. We could have won the game, but that situation, the league know, like, yeah, they gonna find me. I said his name. Yeah, we already know the history. It's all throughout good. the course of the game, my teammates was, was encouraging me, giving me that confidence to go out there and just beat me. Uh, you know, change the game defensively, and I think I did that. Like it's 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 cool to you know get 40 or 50 points or be shooting the ball extremely well. Obviously, we all want to do that, but just to to get recognition and for it to pay off, you know, when it counts on a def defensive end uh, and show that I've been engaged and locked in. Uh, for it to show in a, in a, in a clutch moment, uh, it means a lot. Uh, James been playing defense. I think if you actually, if media and people actually look at the numbers, you since you guys like to look at numbers, look at them, and then you will see or you get your answers. Because James defends, I think this notion of obviously in the past where he um, will lose his man um, and, and do different things, but he's he's improved. Um, not just for me being an issue, but I've seen him improve. He, he gets overlooked because he's such an exceptional offensive player. And you guys only see one thing. It's like, oh, he can't play defense. Well, that's not true. I think he maybe lead the league in steals. Deflections here around there. His defense, uh, net rating, whatever that shit is that y'all like to use. I don't know. But he, he, he up there. And we didn't shoot the ball well a few of those games. You know, we still had a chance to win. So... We play that same and have that same mindset defensively, and, and you know, offense is going to come along and uh, finally get Russell back, you know, into his rhythm, you know, for an entire series. You know, we should be in good hands, but I think we're excited. Obviously, we're excited to advance, but excited to you know be where we at. Uh, just getting there, you know, just trying to get better rhythm. Um, I told myself coming tonight I was going to be more aggressive at the basket, using my ability to be able to do what I want, and that's what I'm trying to do and, and make sure I, I kept the pressure on. So. I was able to play a little more minutes tonight, which was good. Taking it one game at a time and find my rhythm and get ready for the next series. Oh, uh, actually, I never worry about the other team. And I think when we play the way we need to play, um, it's tough to beat us. Um, so our job now is to obviously focus on how we can adjust moving into their game, to that series, I would say. Um, they're obviously a good team. They've been a good team all, all year long. Um, and we take it one game at a time. Last words. Guess I get to see my kids and my family. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it.